Hello and welcome to the Fishing Guide Podcast. I'm your host, Brad Weekman. And of course, we have two very special guests with me. Of course, we have Wally Marshall, the man in the middle. Oh, time. brother. Hey, being in the middle, you're the minimum man. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And on the outside there, playing the uh, co-host is uh, Ricky Duke. So he's with Smith Consumer Products. And so we got lots and lots of questions and uh, lots and lots of product that we're going to show you. And, and Wally's going to tell you the reason why he teamed up with them. And and so we'll get into that. So let's, let's start with you, Wally. If someone's been under a rock, hasn't heard who you are, tell them in a nutshell, who's Wally Marshall? Well, Wally Marshall is actually a plumber. <laughs> that became a fisherman that loved to bird hunt. For over 25 years, I bird hunted everywhere in the state of Texas. And then there was a crappie tournament that come to Texas many years ago called Crappie Thon. Uh-huh. And I was the plumbing superintendent at Garland School District in Garland, Texas. And I talked electrician buddy into fishing the crappie thon. Right. I didn't even own a boat. Wow. Pair of waders and a fly rod and a paper sack with blue and white jigs. Couldn't even change <laughs> colors. <laughs> but anyway, you. hey, man, you know, oh, hey, you got to do what you got to do, right? I mean, you know, I, I've gone to from uh, – paper sacks to actually tackle boxes now there you, know? you go but uh anyway uh joel peacock and myself won the first crappie tournament that ever came to the state of texas that was a certified crappie tournament and back then there's 20 fish you could keep 20 wow. fish weigh in 20 fish and we had 20 fish at right that weighed in right at 29 pounds we actually had a pair of waders each a fly rod each, and uh, we walked in between this these two houses down to the shore where the cattails were and won the tournament right there in about a 35 to 40-yard stretch of cattails. And uh, we didn't know what kind of weight it would take to win. We're just catching fish, and we're looking at them. We don't have no scales. We're just looking at them and say, this one's bigger, that one's bigger, da 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 <laughs> And so... <laughs> We're 35, well, actually, I was catching them, and I looked around, and Joel's putting on his waders, but he's drinking a beer. And it was like, Joel, what are you doing? He goes, man, I'm nervous. I said, Joel, you got to get in and help me, man. I'm slinging them up on the bank. I'm just catching them and throwing them up on the, on the shore, <laughs> not even, because they could be dead or alive. You know, they, oh, didn't, even have to be, they didn't even have to be alive. Uh-huh. So anyway, at 11 o'clock, I said, Joel, I'm kind of hungry, man. I said, you want to go get a hamburger? <laughs> so we went and got a hamburger. <laughs> but to make a long story short, uh, we actually took our fish to the weigh-in in a plastic bag, no water, just slime everywhere, and had 20 crappie. And uh, we just happened to have the biggest stringer out of 289 teams. And thus, thus became the, the legend of Wally Marshall. Well, Mr. Crow. There was there was two guys there that I got to give kudos to is Dorsey Gibson with Eagle Claw. Uh -huh. He was there. The first guy that came up to me was Jimmy Cunningham with Duncan Lewis Sales, and they had B&M, Plano, and uh, Betts. Uh -huh. And uh, now I've been with Betts probably 15 years now wow. designing floats. But I always wanted an electric fillet knife. Right. Man, I've cleaned a few crappie in my lifetime. I'll bet. But I wanted to get one that I was really involved with. And one of the reps at the NBS show like four years ago introduced me to Ricky right. at Smith Consumer Products. That Smith has been in business for 100 years. Yep, long and time. they made the sharpeners. They made all kinds of stuff for knives and this, that, and the other. And... I didn't really know their product line very well then, and uh, but since then, man, I'm telling you, we have designed probably one of the best electric flay knives on the market. We have regular flay knives. We have the fish pick. We've got pliers. We got scissors, and we got other things in the mix. And being with this company, what I like about Spies is they're aggressive. 
Right. You know, a lot of companies are not too aggressive, kind of conservative, but they'll work with you. They'll listen to you. Uh, and we worked diligently on this. I had many samples of fillet knives over the last couple of years, electrics. Mm-hmm. And finally, uh, they got it dialed in. And I think it's going to rock the slab of matic by Mr. Crappie and Smith's. There you go. Ricky, he's going to let you say something, finally. <laughs> I don't need to say give anything. Us, give us some, uh, what's it like having Wally Marshall as uh, Mr. Crappie as, uh, as a spokesperson? Obviously, sometimes he doesn't have something to say. I've never been there, but at some point it may happen. What do you think? No, I, you know, Wally, you'll, you won't find the harder working individual, not just in this industry, but anywhere. Right. And, um, Wally's great to work with because he, he listens, but, you know, uh, he he listens to challenges we might have on a product. But, you know, right. Wally brings a lot of ideas. And, uh, you know, Wally, he's a friend because he, he calls me and he's like, Ricky, how you doing? Or, you know, he, he calls all the time, wish me a happy Father's Day. It's just, right. we you know, we've really built a relationship, not just the two companies and brands, but uh, it's just been really great working with Wally. So. And how many products do you have with his titled name on? So Mr. we have a, a, at least eight, and we're like Wally uh-huh. said, we're working on other products all right. the time, looking at products that really fill a gap and help help crappie fishermen catch fish or or solve a problem. And that's that's what Smiths is about solving problems. Yeah, Wally puts you on the spot. Which one's your favorite product of all of them? We know there's eight. Probably more common. Well, you know, I really, really, truly am glad that I have an electric fillet knife uh-huh. that doesn't get hot. Right. Durable, high speed. Uh, it's the slab of matic It yep. comes with two sets of blades. I come out with a four-inch blade. Right. And everybody's like, man, what, what, what am I going to do with a four-inch blade? Right cut the rib cages and brim and smaller fish like trout or whatever right. that you're cleaning, you can actually use that four inch blade and it's you don't have this long blade trying to clean a little rib cage out or whatever. Right. And so you can get down to business and it's just so quick to get those rib cages out of those fillets when when people are filleting crappie. But it's high speed, like I said, and runs super cool. The record right now is 390 fish, one setting. Wow. One setting. I took home, I got a permit to take on some fish from a tournament. Right. And I cleaned 390 fish nonstop. Wow. It took all day. Right. But I guarantee it. I to, <laughs> hey, when you, got, when you had to take a break cleaning fish, buddy, you know, but you asked me about my favorite. Right. My favorite is the fish pick. Okay. Tell us about that. Well, I'll tell you what. They had a product that I seen, and I said, whoa, can we do this with that? And they said, yeah, we we can do it. Just draw it up. Let us know what you want. Right. So, actually, this works, this red button right here. You can mash this in and push the 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 pick out right. or retract it in, and it has a hole right here in the end of it where you can put it on a lanyard. Okay. Because when you're jig fishing, and it gets hung down in that crappie's throat, or it's hung in a tight place, or it's in the nose hole, which is tough to get out. Right. Right here on the end of the product, like this, there's a V right in the end of it. Uh huh. And so you take that V, and it'll go up to a five alt hook. That's the width of the gap that's in this. Right. And this has uh, got diamond on it. You can sharpen your pocket knife on it, or it's got a track in there to where you can sharpen your hooks. Right. So this is a, not just a fish pick to get the hook out. It's everything else. But anyway, you push this red deal all the way up, and it clicks in, and you can take that, and you can put it in the rear of the hook, and you can twist it, or you can pop it. If it's deep into the crappie's mouth, I like to twist it. That way you're not pushing it down further right. into his gullet. 
Now, if it's on the closer to the top of the mouth, I can take it and just pop it. Keep mm-hmm. tension on your line and holding that crop in. You can just pop the end of the weir of that hook, and it pops that jig right out every time. And then it retracts back into the unit itself, and you just wear it around your neck. Yep, pretty handy. And it's quick, easy, uh, especially when you're catching a lot of fish. Uh, the Mr. Crappie Fish Bick by Smith is probably the most unique product that we have. You know, and, and Brad, we have a lot of customers call, and they use these on kayaks, actually. When right. you don't, oh, when you don't yeah. have room to have a lot of tools and extra pliers, right. they take the fish pick because uh, undoubtedly you're going to get that crappie that swallows that. Hook, that, that right. hook and you got to get it out when you're out there in the and not just crappie just everything any, probably anything. from redfish sure. to to whatever saltwater oh yep. yeah every angler needs a fish pick that's what i say okay <laughs> but for some of us that like manuals right right <laughs> manual uh tell us tell us ricky there's two different sizes uh in so, so in we have a six inch curved yep. um really flexible each each product we produce the manuals come with a, a sheath or a scabbard to protect uh-huh. your your right. blade or protect your you and your blade if you're carrying it in a toolbox or kayak or your boat or right. wherever uh, and then we have a seven inch straight fillet knife for their uh-huh. larger crappie like wally catches big, <laughs> i see toads. i see so there's the, the wally edition and and there's everyone else's yeah. edition oh, is that what you're saying exactly man yeah. slab sticker slab. how who came up with the name slab sticker who I'll, who gets I'll, credit i own the trademark yes okay that's a wally we'll yeah. uh we'll make sure you got some other tools that uh that you have here, um, the line cutters and mm-hmm. and right. accessories for crappie uh, fishermen that's using braid uh-huh. or, mm-hmm. or right. monofilament. You know, my dentist uh, he tells me all the time, quit using your teeth. Right. And so I told Ricky, "Hey, Rick, I need some scissors, brother, because we would need to cut that fishing line and other things. It's a good utility tool to have in your boat, and these are super sharp and will cut any braid out there that's on any the brain. market." Yep. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that takes us up to the pliers. We're running right through this. Yeah, the pliers The pliers uh-huh. have all the things on here as far as your crimpers, and it also has side cutters. Okay. You, know, you can use that. And I like a pair of pliers that come together. Right. So when you reach in there, maybe you want to take out a hook and you don't have a fish pick. Right. You can do it with this right here because okay. this is real slender and narrow right here, and it will grip the hook because it's got teeth on it. So uh-huh. it'll grip the, grip the rear of the hook, and you can twist it right out. And also for you guys that are using split shots, and also right here on the edge of the pliers, you can see is actually a crankbait tuner. Oh, really? Yeah, you can take hmm. the eye of the crankbait and uh-huh. twist it, and mm. tune them up. And oh, I did not know that. Oh, yeah, right there, brother. Those are not huh. just for looks. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> They're not just sexy, making the pliers <laughs> yeah. sexy. And and uh. they always, they, they're spring-loaded, and they always stay open. That's that's what I like about those pliers right there. You're not having to manually do it. You know, it automatically does it for right. you. So you can do it one-handed, not having to use two. So, but, you know... Smith's is an Arkansas company from Hot Springs, Arkansas. Like right. I said, 100 years of business. They actually made the Arkansas whetstones. Right. And I think they still do today. We is do. that right, yes. Ricky? Uh-huh. Yeah. Tell us we about do. those whetstones, man. So, Smith's, uh, we've been in business over 135 years. We're, uh, we're an outdoor company. You know, we our foundation was built on sharpeners, uh, just mining that stone out of the hills of hot springs arkansas and then over the years we've really just grown into tools and accessories for right. the outdoor market fishing is one of the our new and upcoming categories that we're really spending a lot of uh, time and resources and innovation in and there's probably other products besides just wallies even though wallies here oh, but yeah. i mean I there's know. other fishing products that you that you have yeah. Uh, the past uh, six months, we've launched over 35 new fishing items. Wow. Uh, so uh, we have a nice portfolio of products that uh, we can we can solve either 
consumers or retailers needs with. So right. we have a line of saltwater products that we that we're working on also. So, and ladies, if you're watching out there, they've got the home sets that are just phenomenal. Oh yeah, I've got a set of knives, steak knives, all kinds of knives, and it comes in this walnut block of wood that sets out on your cabinet. And so when you got company over, you can put them bad boys out, mm-hmm. you know, when you yep. got them viney sausages up. <laughs> I think, <laughs> I, <laughs> that's our cabin and lodge series. And, you know, yeah, when, that was I a have request that. from women. Actually, they said, yeah. you know, if I'm going to have a deer head hanging in my kitchen, I want a set of knives that match it. So right. that's, they, that's got the, we, they got the bone handles. Bone handles yep. and that's really we awesome. actually have a set of those. And that's one way to make it. You want to make your wife happy. You yes. just buy her, buy her that yes. set of knives because uh, it's it's super sharp, but super it's sharp. they are also um, they're they're very especially like at our place it's more cabin on the lake and it oh my gosh it just accents where we are mm-hmm. it just lays in there so you got a you got a, a mount up on the wall fish mount on the wall right. and then you got you know yeah. you got the knives down below. Uh, well, not just a testimony from me about Smiths, but all crappie fishermen, you know, eats crappie, basically. Just right. about all of them eat crappie. Pretty much. And they're going to fry them up. And so we are bringing the products to the market that's going to make it faster, quicker, easier for you to fillet fish. Or if you like to eat them whole or whatever, mm. we have those knives for you. Yeah, and let's not skip over uh, like these knives. They will get dull after a while when you're cutting to the bone. And you have Smith Products has um, a wide variety of sharpeners. What sharpener would be great to use to sharpen this knife right here, the slab sticker? Actually, you can use the fish pick, as Wally said, on the back side. Uh-huh. like a honing or chef steel because it right. does have diamond on there we have several uh smaller uh if you're not as comfortable with that or you're concerned about holding the angle we have some a uh, couple of two-stage sharpeners that have preset angles so you just uh-huh. they're pull through sharpeners what we call them so you'll pull them through a couple of times and they're you're ready to go keep filleting fish and that that just that whole fishing experience, uh, it just adds to that because it's, it's easy to clean. Uh, and you keep your knife sharp, keep them safe, and then you clean a lot of fish. Well, what I, like, them where you clean what I like about these, what Smith has done, is they made a sheath for every blade that they produce, even on the electric mm-hmm. knives. Right. They have a sheath theirself, so when you put it back in the drawer – you're not reaching in there and getting cut. Right. I mean, that has happened so many times with me looking for the sharpest knife in the drawer. Right. And so, you find it. so you will know <laughs> from now on the sharpest knife in the drawer, just look for the lime green handle. There you yes. go. We made it easy to see, especially right. on the slab of matic These ain't hard to find. But anyway, slab of matic by Smith's, it's awesome. There you go. Hey, that takes us to Tackle Time. Tackle Time is sponsored, uh, of course, by Pico Lures. They have a complete line of uh, fishing tackle, everything from bass fishing, walleye fishing, stripers, you name it. If it's a game fish, you can catch them on uh, Pico Lures. And so check them out at picolures.com. And, of course, our other sponsor is People Letter here is uh, Smith Products. So I should make Ricky do his own ad little thing. But uh, they have a, um, a wide range of fishing-related products and then household products and even outdoor products, you know, folding fillet knives and and just Gut just hooks, everything. So. Yep. So hey, you, I, I actually have a funny one when it comes to that. Because right. back in the day, <laughs> when I was cleaning crappie, I was going to Walmart and getting the cheapest electric knife they had. Right. And it was a Black and Decker uh-huh. for like ten bucks. You right. know. And so, I back in the day, I called Black and Decker to go, hey. uh, you know, uh, 
is there any way that I could get some special knives made up by you guys or whatever? Because that was way back before right. Mr. Crappie, okay? Uh -huh. And they go, oh, my God, are you using our knife outside the home? <laughs> and I go, well, yes, ma'am. I clean fish with them outside right next to the water hose. And she goes, you know that voids the warranty, don't you? <laughs> so, so, anyway, uh, hey. It ain't going to avoid the warranty at Smith's, I guarantee yeah. you, brother. There you, you go. just keep on cleaning them. If you want to check out more about Smith Products, make sure you go to uh, smithproducts.com. If they want to find out more about uh, Mr. Crappie, where would they go, Wally? Well, they can actually go to mrcrappie.com, or you can click on Mr. Crappie's online store, or you can go to any tackle dealer in the United States and get Mr. Crappie products or Wally Marshall. And, and, Ricky, if they want to check out more about uh, Smith products, where would they go? You would go to smithproducts.com. You can go to mrcrappie.com, or you can go to grizzlyjig.com. Grizzly any big box out there, you'll, you'll find Smith's products. So There you go. There you have it. That's it for this show. I always, like I like to say, is uh, make sure you keep your hook sharp and your lures in the water because you can't catch them otherwise. And make sure you check out uh, some of the stuff that uh, – that uh, Wally has. He's got all kinds of great tools. And just to let you know, this is an electric fillet knife. So, Correct. so Correct. just so uh, I don't get a bunch of emails, people asking me if they're battery controlled or if they have both for right now, uh, just the electric one. So we got that in the trenches. There you go. In the trenches. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hey, thank y'all. Thank yep. you.